But reputed crime boss Francesco Frankie Boy Cali was gunned down in his driveway. Many assumed it was a mob hit. The 24-year-old has been arrested for the murder, and after appearing in court on Monday, law enforcement sources still aren't so sure the mafia had anything to do with it. 24-year-old Anthony Camello, who authorities say shot and killed an alleged New York mob underboss, appearing Monday in a New Jersey courtroom. Camello smirking at times, scribbling on his left hand phrases like MAGA forever and United We Stand. Is it true you're waiving your right for extradition? Yes, sir. Camello agreeing to be extradited to New York City, where he'll face charges in connection to the high-profile slaying of Francesco Cali, an alleged boss in the notorious Gambino crime family. While we believe we have the shooter in custody for this incident, uh, the investigation is far at this point from over. Detectives believe Camello shot Cali 10 times outside his Staten Island home. Law enforcement sources say security camera footage shows Camello pulling into Cali's driveway on Wednesday night and moments later opening fire. Initially, Cali's murder spread fears the Gambino family, which was once run by notorious mobster John Gotti, was in the throes of a violent new power struggle. There hadn't been a crime boss killed in New York City since the mid-80s. We thought those days were over. Uh, very surprising, but um, I guess old habits die hard. But according to sources, law enforcement officials are now looking into several theories, including the possibility Camello had a romantic interest in one of Mr. Callie's nieces and that the crime boss told him to stay away from her. Salvatore Gravano, better known as Sammy the Bull, was a former member of the Gambino family who helped bring down dozens of mobsters, including his own boss, John Gotti, as a government informant. Gravano says he doesn't think it was a mob hit. Being done in front of his house, in front of his family like that, that's not Cosa Nostra. That's not something we actually do. Well, Morgan, I understand uh, police are taking special precautions for him in jail. That's right. Authorities are concerned that his life actually may be threatened while he's behind bars because of the reach of the Gambino mob family. But they're also saying that he's been placed in protective custody. His lawyer is saying this is something very wrong. We know something wrong happened, and they're vowing to get to the bottom of it, guys.